A plan first shot down by South Bend City Council gets the go-ahead, but it won't be as tall as first proposed. The luxury apartment high-rise and grocery store in the East Bank neighborhood today got a green light. That's right. Originally, developer Dave Matthews wanted to build a 12-story apartment building with about 240 units, but now that building is set to be nine stories with roughly 144 apartments. WSBT 22's Molly Jurisic has the details on this project, and Molly, one big reason that this plan didn't pass the first time is because it didn't fit zoning requirements that were actually made back in 2008. That's right, Jennifer. The East Bank plan is almost nine years old, and some say Matthew's idea didn't fit the neighborhood, while others argued the original plan was just behind the times. While both sides reached a compromise, they also say they plan to do a better job of updating city plans. I think it would have been a big mistake to lose this one, to let this opportunity go by, to allow those regional cities' dollars to go unspent, and to miss out on that chance to have a full-service grocery, which is something people ask me about all the time. That's why Mayor Pete Buttigieg made sure the city of South Bend and Matthews LLC reached a deal on this $35 million development. It now includes a nine-story apartment building with 144 units, a Martin's grocery store, pharmacy, and parking garage. At the end of the day, the city can expect about $600,000 in new tax revenue as a result of this happening. That revenue will come after a nearly 10-year tax abatement. The city is chipping in about $5 million, and about $5 million more is coming from regional cities, making the endeavor possible, according to Martin's CEO. We can't be like the field of dreams. Supermarkets can't build it and have them come later. It doesn't work for us. Rob Bartle says it's key to have residential and commercial space built here at the same time. To avoid future hiccups with developers, Councilman Oliver Davis says he wants to come up with a formal process to keep neighborhood plans updated. In 2008, to have a pharmacy in a store and all of these, the one thing, we, it was fantasy world on some level, and sometimes people didn't even think about it. Davis plans to put a resolution on the table that would call for meetings to go over neighborhood plans at least twice a year, something developers like Matthews look forward to. He says the city's upholding part of the original promise to fund parking in the East Bank. We need to budget and make sure that we can pay for that infrastructure and get updates so we don't forget about it until somebody shows up and says, hey, we want to do this. How do we make it happen? Matthew says the parking garage will be the first thing built and the whole development could it take at least four years to finish. The Common Council is expected to pass a resolution on the project next Monday and they'll also look at Davis's resolution for updating neighborhood plans.